Hey, how's it going? Mike here. One of the most common questions that I've actually seen online is, should I write a technical blog and will it help me get a job in DevOps? Now, the short answer to this is yes, it will help you get a job in DevOps. And yes, you should write a technical blog. The reason you should write a technical blog is because not only does it actually help you improve your own learning, because you're reinforcing that learning by writing it down, even though it's not pen on paper, even though you're writing it digitally, you're typing into a keyboard, you're still forming an idea. And even if you're writing the technical blog post to communicate with yourself, that is you're reinforcing that learning that you've done by talking to yourself through the blog post, you're still going to find great benefits from this. This is still gonna help you learn that under underlying concept. So you should absolutely write a technical blog because it will help you to understand the complex problems better. And if you can explain it in a blog post to other people, then you definitely, you've, you've grasped that, com that complex concept. You've, you've grasped it really well if you can explain it to other people. Another key benefit is when you can communicate it with ideas, you're essentially showing that you're able to communicate with other people. Communication is one of the core concepts within DevOps and without the ability to communicate with other people, people are going to find it hard to work with you. Teams are going to find it hard to work with you. You're going to find it hard to express ideas to people. When you're in an interview, you're going to find it hard to answer questions. And during the actual day-to-day -day operations of, of, of operating within a DevOps team, poor communication skills can make it difficult for you to get your ideas heard, to get your thoughts and opinions respected and enabling you to actually get your ideas on how and your visions on how you and after you've written a blog a technical blog you want to include that in all of your social profiles especially linkedin you also want to include it in your cv you want to be able to show employers that you've written it so one of the conditions is yes you should write technical a technical blog to demonstrate what you can, what you can do and what you're learning but one of the conditions is you have to make people aware that you've that you've written it now you could just write the technical blog and not really share it with the world. And that's fine. That's just almost a form of, as I said earlier, it's like reflection. It's like talking to yourself. It's like a note-taking process. But by sharing it with other people, by with employers or with peers, etc., what you're then doing is saying you're inviting other people to see what it is that you're working on. And that can act as a portfolio piece that you can use during an interview process, during in the cover letter, it can get you into interviews and then you can use it during an interview process to actually further enhance the offering that you're making to that employer. Because you're essentially saying in an interview, hire me, I'm capable of doing this job. How do you how do you prove that besides the besides certifications and experience? Well, you can openly and publicly demonstrate your knowledge with a technical blog. And finally, I just want to point out that I've personally been in interviews where I've been in that interview for less than an hour. And during the interview, the interviewer has said that they've observed my materials online, my book, my YouTube channel, etc. They found it to be a clear indication that I'm capable of doing the job that they are offering. And then they have therefore offered that job. So the short answer is yes, you should write a technical blog. However, you need to make people aware that you're writing it. I need to look at it as a portfolio piece. Make sure that you're telling employers, this is what I'm capable of doing. Otherwise, if you don't show them it and you don't tell them it, they'll never see it. It's like a GitHub profile. Show it to people. Technical blog is the same. Show it to people. Write, communicate. Show that you can, that you can not only learn, but then you can communicate ideas to people. And it will improve your chances of not only getting job interviews, but also it will elevate you above other candidates whilst you're in that interview process. I hope that helps.